Oh, I just I just wanted the the PUD's water contract with the city of Port Angeles <laughs> due to expire on January first of nineteen seventy five. Yeah, they were requesting the this contract be considered for renewal for another three year period. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, PUD request for water contract extension, November 1974. <laughs> uh, it's terms and conditions suggested for renewal. We recommend the contract be extended <laughs> not to exceed four years and preferably not to exceed two years. <laughs> the reason for this limiting of time to two years is that our inflationary spiral <laughs> is increasing so rapidly that we are uncertain what conditions will prevail after four years. <laughs> The rate specified for the second two-year period and for which we recommend extension for the next two years <laughs> appears to be adequate to meet our transmission costs and <laughs> adequately provide the service uh, at their point of views. <laughs> now, there was some sort of inflation concerns in 1974. <laughs> you know, it's funny how they, <laughs> Hal Putty, <laughs> city manager we have spiraling inflation concerns that we're concerned that if we price it yes then inflation might cost us yes well i i think these inflation concerns of the 1970s yeah they actually had some contractual because it listen listen inflation spiral something that was really real in the 1970s yeah mm -hmm. Well, obviously, it's not a concern now. I mean, we can enter into 50-year contracts and at 0% interest rates and no inflationary concerns. <laughs> the only thing you might run out of is water. Exactly <laughs> how much can a water district or the <laughs> city cost? <laughs> because <laughs> I like the idea of inflation spiral. <laughs> you know, my want as an American citizen is... <laughs> to cause sleepless nights for those in the Fed Reserve where they have nightmares about an inflation spiral. <laughs> Let's show you there, Jerome. <laughs> and I'm able to stimulate the economy because of the enforcement of the laws. <laughs> I thought that if we could get inflation up to 7% because of how stimulating it is, <laughs> you could uh, not be able to sleep at night because of your concerns about that. <laughs> I, I know it's me, <laughs> me thinking about the dream life of those in the Federal Reserve. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was very funny. <laughs> we had an inflation problem in the 1970s, but what are we experiencing today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to raise interest rates another 2.25%. <laughs> inflation is mute. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why we don't have an inflation problem. No, <laughs> no, there really is. No, <laughs> there's not enough work that produces um, enough income to um, <laughs> actually cause an inflationary pressure on the actual items. <laughs> well, look at Walmart just showed up. Are <laughs> you rolling back prices again? <laughs>